Howdy folks, got something to a little bit different today. I went to my hobby shop and I uh, browsed my own as you do. And I found this at the back of the store. Um, it's a V8 engine mock-up um, model. It fully works um, and it's all clear so you can see all the internals and stuff. Something completely different. Um, it was a reasonable price and I thought yeah I've got to have it it's completely something different something different from everything else I've pretty much seen ship cars boats planes and all that I thought yeah it's completely something different so yeah I picked it up um, it's been around for a while but I looked up on the uh, website I use for uh, history of kits and stuff to find out what kits are uh, re-releases and so forth um, I'll leave that link in the description if you wish to use that and it tells you all the history about the kits which is a nice bonus um, but this kit was uh, just a new new release back in the day but um, from Revell um, it turns out Airfix have built a uh, engine kind of model one but it's not a V8 it's a two stroke engine um, but this is the V8 version from Revell there isn't a scale as such, but it's on the side of the box it says it's 30.5 centimetres, which is about um, is 12 inches roughly. Um, there's the uh, dimensions and stuff on the box. Um, 321 parts. Um, kit number is 85883. Level 5 skill level 14 plus 1.4 may be the size of, maybe the size of the kit, maybe not quite sure, but let's take a look what we get in the box. It's an open in top box, which is nice, very strong than the boxes that we've already picked through lately. Um, and this, you get one bag here, it's got nuts and bolts, and the red wire is the um, spark plug wire um, and the black one is a cam belt um, piece you get some springs in there so some of it gets bolted together and a little bit of glue here and there if I get the parts wrong I do completely apologise because I don't know an awful lot about engines so you get this screw here Five bags of screws, two bags of clear, two bags of grey and two bags of black. Um, the grey ones are like internals, the clear is obviously the engine block and the black is a little bit of internals and stand and stuff but it doesn't tell you about paint so it's totally up to you. Obviously you don't want to paint the engine block because you want to see through it. Um, I believe these are piston mods these pieces I believe are piston rods. I could be totally wrong I'm not sure um, I don't know what these small pieces are there's a giant cog I don't know what that's for don't know what this is it could be in it uh, water pump I don't know um, there's another piece there I don't know what that's for I don't know what these are for so there's that, that screw there bag um, um, pistons I believe these will be and to do the crank shaft possibly yeah I think that's, I think I think you call that a crank shaft and you call any call these pistons and these to do the crank shaft so I believe that's right. If I get anything wrong, please comment down below. I'd like to uh, know. You get a manual and you do get a, uh, another booklet that tells you about engines, how engines work. So I might actually read through that and understand a little bit about the engine. So I'm not a mechanic or anything, so I don't really know about parts. 
we've got these pieces here on this sprue and this one this one's come off it looks like uh exhaust manifold possibly um you get, you get this sprue here which goes to handle which allows you to rotate so you can see the engine working um i might consider trying to rig it up somehow so you've got a uh, motor and batteries so i'd have to do it um you've got these pieces here this piece here this piece um it, this bit says rotate so it could be something to do with water oil or whatever i'm not quite sure so obviously uh, something goes in there these could be to do the uh, exhaust manifold part still um, and you get these like pins again i don't know what these are quite for Um, I might actually start this pretty soon or straight away. Um, I'm gonna have a break from doing that helicopter that I'm in the process of doing. Um, the kit's poorly made and it's frustrating me, so I'm gonna put it down to one side for a little while and come back to it. Um, I'm not in the mood of doing a kit at the moment, which requires a lot of work. I just frustrates me at the moment. So I'm going to slight to do easy build at the moment. Got this piece here of the engine. Um, the top part of the engine. Uh, I don't know what, I, what you call that. Um, one of the pulleys I think goes to the cam belt. this part of the engine um, don't know if that's something to do with the oil or not I'm really not sure these pieces will together um, this screw here you've got part of your stand this piece here goes to this other piece that I weren't too sure of, it sits on there, it sits on top of the engine. Um, does the engine have a carburetor or is it just to do a fuel injection? I don't know. Uh, you've got this piece here, I don't know what that's for. This piece here, I don't know what that's for. Just go off now. Got another piece of your stand here. So obviously you want to paint the stand in fancy colour, whatever. I might even consider doing it in Charlie Mac lime green because I've got a lime green so I might, might actually even do it in there. <clears throat> um, your fan or engine. You've got this piece here, I don't know what that's for for the engine. I know what this is, this is the distributor cap, I believe. Um, in the uh, manual, I've had a little butcher's, like I get to uh, in my model shop, which is a nice touch. If the box not sealed, if it's uh, an open box, um, they will allow you to open it and make sure everything's all right before buying it. But if it's a sealed box, then obviously you can't. But um, this one is. Uh, it's open so I can get to have a look and everything seems fine so I, I bought it which is a nice bonus um, you've got this piece don't know what this is for neither you get this sprue another piece of your stand stand another giant cog um, you get this piece as well don't know what that's for these pieces don't know this piece I don't know don't know what that's for or that or these small pieces do not know what any of that is get 
one yard bag of clear parts. This is parts of engine block and stuff in here, but lots of things. This clear piece and this clear piece. Um, does that go on there? I really don't know. Is that the rocker cover? I don't know what they call it? I'm not sure. Is sure. You got some more engine block parts. These parts do the cylinders, I believe. I really don't know what these parts are for. You've got another one there. Some more clear parts. Clear. These are obviously all the engine blocks somewhere. Um, another piece. Is that crank case housing? They call it. I'm, I really don't know. These smaller parts. Another one of those box things, which I believe is a rocker cover box. I don't know. Could be completely wrong. I'd say please don't beat me up too much if I get it wrong. I don't feel model cars or anything. No, I don't know. In fact, I don't even drive a car, so. I mean, I can drive, but I don't, don't own a car. I haven't got a license to, but I can drive. Because back in the day, we used to do bang racing and stuff, and race little minis and stuff, so that's how I know how to drive a car. I haven't officially got a license, I don't need to drive, so I just use my push bike everywhere. This giant piece, really don't know what this part's for the engine. So this giant screw, screw the little monkey, he's got another one there. This part of the engine, which was contains the cylinders, which would be for the pistons, I should imagine. This giant clear piece, giant clear piece. Got these clear pieces. I don't know what they're for. This clear piece, this clear piece, this clear piece. Is it the oil tray or oil box? So you get one manual, there's no decals in this kit. You get this one, it all talk, talks about how an engine works and stuff. So we have a quick pictures of these two. So this is the uh, guide for how an engine works. So there's a lot of reading, and some images, and, um, steam engines as well, how steam engine works, water get boiled, steam goes through, and then cause the piston to work down in a day. Um, and different type of engines we've got there, inline, radial, aircraft engine, V pipe. Those V type is what this is. V five, V five. Those are V eight. Those are four 
citizen is There you go, there's my arches. Crank shaft, crank cap gears, and flywheel. So that giant cog must, must have been the flywheel. Um, rocket arms, piston rods, that's what those rods must have been. Crank rods. Oil pan, I thought that giant clear piece must have been. Flywheels, there's that other giant cog would be. Crankcase, spark plugs, and so forth. Yeah. So that giant piece on top of the engine is an air cleaner. Put into this. Fuel cap, fuel supply tank, fuel lines. Fuel pump. So that's the uh, air cleaner. I imagine I presume it's the air filter and then naturally what we call the air filter over here. the cycling works on the engine. Royal filter. Royal pan, royal paint. Primary gear. Um, that piece on the side of the engine, which I didn't have a clue was according to this, is a starter motor. Which is that piece there, starter motor. Um, obviously, you get no batteries in this. You know, probably could uh, make up stuff and make the engine a little bit more detailed if you wish. Spark plugs. My order. Um, we'll take a look at this now, guys. This is the manual for the uh, kit. Uh, all the information and some of the parts you need to you get. These are all the parts listed. I hope it ever, hopefully everything's still there. Use a screwdriver and stuff. So we're starting with the flat part of the engine and then put it in. I've forgotten again already. Is it crankcase? No, not crankcase. Crank shaft. Um, building up the engine. That pistons again. Clear parts over the pistons. And we've got this piece down here, which I don't even know what it's for. Oh, that's an oil pan, so that piece must be the oil filter then. Um, 
remove that piece. There's the start motor. I can't remember what that was now. There's the start motor. There's your stand. Might, and like I say, I might consider doing it in iron green. <laughs> Parts of the engine, exhaust manifold, I think. It's all going in. We've got this step here. fan section and the pulley system for the cam belt bit and then building up another piece I'm not quite sure what that is Step there, some parts. This diagram will tell you what wires, which is the, those red ones, which is these red ones here, showing you what goes from what part plug to what order, and then uh, what order it goes on the screw back cap. To my understanding, so I'm currently wrong. If you get that in the wrong order, the engine won't fire. Um, yeah, more spark uh, wires and distributor cap section. Uh, and then those covers go on. So be the rocker covers, I believe. Put that piece there. I don't know what that is, neither. And then that air filter or air box going on the top of the engine and then it should be your complete model. Um, a lot of it says it's see here it says no glue because it must be bolted together. Um, and then that's it guys. So there you go guys, there's the V8 engine from Ravel, um, like I mentioned before I'm not quite sure what size it is, I think it's 1 4th or it's 30 cm.5 which is the size, so um, it'd be a, could it be a good old chunk size engine, um, yeah I'm going to start this pretty soon, I mentioned earlier I'm having issues with that helicopter, so I'm going to do this, hopefully it's a little bit, little bit less stressful than the helicopter because the helicopter requires a lot of filling and stuff and it's just it's, it's annoying but unfortunately kits are like that these days we're never going to get a perfect kit the day we get a perfect kit we're all going to be in trouble <laughs> um, there you go guys something completely different um, I am going to paint some of the parts obviously I don't want to leave it all plastic because it just looks crap in my opinion I will paint these pieces and the internal bits are probably metal and stuff and just so it doesn't look quite so plasticky if you know what I mean I'm gonna make it look like a little bit better <coughs> um, we shall see so ladies like comment subscribe if you haven't really done so and I'll catch you next time